Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is The Fiddle Channel and today we're going to look at shortening bread. Shortening Bread is one of those wonderful songs which is so simple that a four-year-old child could learn it and so uh, rich and fulfilling that you could play it for the rest of your life and never get bored with it. Um, it was a popular song from the 1890s and um, Shortening Bread itself is a bread made with bacon gravy which I've never had but I have to say it sounds delicious. Uh, this was Brian Wilson's uh, favourite song, he being the um, leader of the Beach Boys. And this has been recorded by, not only by them, but by the Foggy Mountain Boys, by Mississippi John Hurt, and many, many others. Uh, I discovered the full potential of this song by um, listening to a workshop from Craig Udelman, the old-time fiddler. And um, uh, a lot of the ideas I'm going to uh, show you are based on stuff that he showed me, uh, including a lot of syncopation. And this is a very good tune for demonstrating the possibilities of syncopation. Uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a, a kind of a funky version um, and I'm going to be doing on my Patreon page a call and response based on this kind of funk feel. But let's first of all play the, uh, the four-year-old child version, um, which is um, it's based on the D major pentatonic. So really simple fingering, those are the only notes we use. A section, so that's what you might call the verse and then the chorus. Now this has words and uh, I think it's worth having a go at the words even if you've never tried singing and playing at the same time um, this is a good one to do it on. So you've got uh, you've got three little children lying in bed and uh, two of them are poorly and one is almost dead. <laughs> we shouldn't sing such things but we do. And the cure is uh, shortening bread so send for the doctor and the doctor said feed those children on shortening bread. So Sick and the other most dead. Sent for the doctor, and the doctor said, Feed those children on shortening bread. Mama, little baby loves shortening, shortening. Mama, little baby loves shortening bread. Mama, little baby loves shortening, shortening. Mama, little baby loves shortening bread. So you can see, particularly from the chorus, that um, that is a simplification of the words, which are going much more swingy. And that derba dooba derba dome, you can really apply uh, freely to any of it. Um, and you wouldn't necessarily get that unless you had a look or a listen or a try of the words first. Now let's try adding some syncopation. So syncopation is where the accent comes in a different place from where you'd expect and it, uh, it's often achieved by anticipating a note, by placing the note sooner than you'd expect it. So um, if we take every two bars and anticipate the first note of each of those, then we get something like this. Uh, one, two, three. So we're placing the, um, the accent in the end of the previous bar. 
Let's just do that with the backing. Now the accent, uh, at the moment we are doing a whole note before uh, the bar line, it could be just a half a bar, uh, it could be just a half a note. So you could do something like this, um, uh, one, two, three, four. So that makes it a bit more jagged. Um, it's, it's easy to do without thinking. I find it quite difficult to do and actually be conscious about it. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's two different approaches to syncopation. You could also syncopate um, not at the beginning of each two bars, but between let's say bars one and two. So. So let's try that syncopating between bars one and two and four and five and so on. combine um, this with the a kind of a swinging Nashville shuffle so a normal Nashville shuffle would be that that's a more swinging one da da ba da da ba da and then combine that with syncopation And the final two bars, as I just did there, of maybe the chorus, is a great place to do just a little fill, a little bluesy uh, solo. But it's, it's only two bars, but uh, that really adds something to it. So let me give you that again and with the backing. Yet another variation on the syncopation is um, to syncopate within a bar. So something like um, can be so then it's coming in the middle of that bar. So there's endless variations on syncopation and I've done some, uh, quite a lot of droning as well. So uh, for most of it, you can drone either the D or the A string. So you can play the whole thing from beginning to end with your bow uh, across both the D and the A strings. That's probably too much, but that's certainly a possibility. And uh, one final thing is alternating between uh, open D notes and uh, open melody notes. So in 
see how this uh, simplest of all songs has become uh, endlessly complex. Um, not unnecessarily complex because it's you only put in what you feel like putting in. Um, I'm going to play out with the this funky version. Um, I have to admit, I've not actually listened to Brian Wilson's version, but I, I imagine he might want to do something <laughs> a bit like this. Um, so I'm going to play it a bit slower and, and funkier, and I'll play this out. And as I say, I'll, I'll be doing a Patreon uh, version of this with some call and response. If you'd like a copy of the sheet music for all of this, then do subscribe to the channel and send me an email. And if you'd like all of my PDFs in one go, then do join me on Patreon. Thanks for watching. I'll play you out uh, funky style. Thank you.